Today we are doing the last part of chapter 10. We're doing chapter 10 review. So let's start with the vocabulary. We're gonna draw lines to match each with its definition. So let's start with one, equivalent fraction. Let's go through our examples. Any fraction with the numerator of one. No, that doesn't make sense for equivalent fractions. What about fractions that have the same value? Well, same is a synonym for equivalent. So I'm gonna say equivalent fractions are fractions that have the same value. Number two, denominator. Does denominator any fraction with a numerator? Well, if it has numerator in the definition, not gonna be that. What about the number above the bar in a fraction? Nope, the denominator is on the bottom. This one, the number below the bar in a fraction, that must be our denominator. Number three, a fraction. So our examples are any fraction with a number, it's not gonna be any fraction. What about the number above the bar? It's gotta be the whole fraction to be a fraction. What about this one? A number that represents part of a whole. That must be a fraction. Numerator. Well, if we know a denominator is on the bottom, a numerator must be on the top. And a unit fraction. Well, that must be our last one. But we also know this one's right because a unit fraction always has a one on top. So number six, write how many equal parts. Shade in one part and write its unit fraction. So how many equal parts do we have here? We've got one, two, three equal parts. We shade in one of those. Our unit fraction is gonna be one over three. Number seven, we have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. If I shade in just one of those, going to be 1 over 6. So next page, we're going to write the missing numerator or denominator to show the shaded part. So it's kind of hard to see on this copy, but I filled in your copy. Three of these stars are filled in. So one, two, three of the stars out of a total of Four. In this one, we have one, two, three, four leaves out of a total of six. So that's why our denominator is six. Number 10, write the point that represents the fraction six eighths. Well, let's fill in our missing. So we know our denominator is always gonna be eight and our numerator is gonna count up by one. So one eight, two eight, three eighths, four eighths there to give us, five eighths, six eighths, and seven eighths. So which one of these is represented by six eighths? Well, it's gonna be C right here. Number 11, complete each number sentence to show equivalent fractions. So they want them to be equal. So it shows us one fourth plus one fourth, two fourths, equals one, two, three, four, eight. And we also know one fourth plus one fourth, two fourths equals one half. Over here, we've got two shaded in of one, two, three whole parts. And over here, we have four shaded in of one, two, three, four, five, six whole parts. Number 13, write each whole number as a fraction. So these are whole numbers, so we're gonna have a one on the bottom for each one of these. So three, we're gonna put a three on top, six on top, and a four on top. Number 16, use the models to compare. Use greater than, less than, or equal to. So we have one eighth and three eighths. Well, Three eighths is a whole lot bigger than one eighth. So, can you use less than? 
And number 17, you can draw a line down and see which one's bigger. Looks like 2 fourths is bigger than 2 sixths. So we're going to use greater than. On to our last page. So Emma has three black cats and one gray cat. What fraction of the set of cats is gray? Well, first we have to see how many cats she has in total. So three plus one equals four cats. And if we draw a model and we say that three are black and one is gray, well, then one fourth of the cats are gray. Lucy walks three quarters of a mile. Sergio walks three sixths of a mile. Who walks farther? So you can either do this with your fraction block or I'm gonna do it with a number line. So both of these number lines are gonna start at zero and end at one. For three fourths, I have to put it into four separate pieces. So this is one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. And for six, I have to put that into six different pieces. So one six, two six, three six, four six, and five six. So Lucy walks three fourths of a mile. So that's right here. And Sergio walks three six. So which one of these is more? Well, three fourths is more. So Lucy walks farther. Number 20. A music tower can hold 10 compact discs. One half of the slots are filled with CDs. How many CDs are in the tower? So we have to find out what half of 10 is. So if we draw a box over here, pretend this is our CD case, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 slots, and half of them are filled, well, we can shade in half of them. What do we have left? We've got one, two, three, four, five left. So we can say five CDs. Number 21, there are 16 students in the school play. One fourth of the students are wearing yellow costumes. Six students are wearing purple costumes. The remaining students are wearing orange costumes. How many? students are wearing orange costumes. So this one, we're gonna have to draw a diagram and we need to show 16 people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we've got a total of 16 plots here. So let's start with the number of students that were wearing purple because that they give us a number for. So six students are wearing purple. So we can call her in one, two, three, four, five, and six. One fourth of the students are wearing yellow. So we have to figure out what is one fourth of 16? Well, what times what equals 16? Four times four equals 16. So one fourth of 16 equals four. So we can color in four. And that leaves the rest of the students are wearing orange. So we can fill in the rest of these orange. One, two, three, four, five, so six students are wearing orange. Last one. Melinda and Ruben are playing tic-tac-toe. Melinda has X's in one third of the nine places. Ruben has O's in two of the places. How many squares are empty? Let's draw ourselves a tic-tac-toe board. It tells us Melinda has X's in one third. Well, 
one third of nine is three because three plus three plus three equals nine. We can also figure that out because there are three rows. So we know she fills in one whole row. Reuben has O's in two of the places. So how many spots are left? Well, one, two, three, and four. We have four spots left. And that is the end of chapter 10. And I will see you for the next one.